Hello everyone. Uh, here we have another video of Turkish. Uh, okay. Hello everyone. Here we have another video of learning Turkish language, and we have the verb do. But this is part two. This is another verb which means do. And we are going to have examples and verb conjugations in all the tenses. So uh, let's go through it. The verb that we are going to talk about is etmek. We had the verb yapmak in previous video, in previous lesson, and we had different examples of that. When another uh, word comes beside this, I mean, it changes the meaning. Okay, so uh, let's have some examples of those. Okay, here I brought some examples. If you notice, we have um, the verb etmek in different forms uh, and in some of them, we have it just with one space beside another word, and sometimes like this one and this one, um, it is just stick to the previous word. The reason is that if um, the word before it's make um has a meaning uh, like if it can be used um uh, as an individual word by itself in a sentence uh that will be in this form like it will be written with one space but if it doesn't have a meaning on itself um it is just um stick it just sticks to the word to it make but there is something uh some of these words i mean they have a meaning from the original language that they have come from they can come from english they can come from like arabic or persian like um for example hal let make okay hal is an arabic word and it has a meaning and it can be used individually but in turkish it doesn't uh appear individually as a word containing a meaning okay so um enough of that let's go through them to see this word which by itself means do how it changes according to the word beside it. Okay, let's go through the meaning. Teşekkür etmek. Teşekkür etmek means saying thank you. Halletmek means solving an issue, a problem. Halletmek. Hak etmek means to deserve something. Mahvetmek means to ruin something. Mücadele etmek, mücadele etmek means to struggle. Zannetmek is misunderstanding something or to guess something in a wrong way. Sabretmek means to wait. Parzetmek means to assume. Terketmek means to leave. Affetmek means to forgive. Ziyanetmek means to waste. Armanetmek means giving a gift. Okay. Um... Um, some of you might um, 
be familiar with uh, Arabic language. Okay, most of these words, I can say all of them, are um, brought from Arabic to Turkish. That that's why they have it's make as um, another word beside it to to um, use it as a verb. Okay, because we are going to conjugate the it's make part. But the other part is already like Arabic, or later you will see maybe it's from another language. Okay, let's go to some other examples. Here we are. Yazık etmek. Yazık etmek. Again, means to waste by misusing. Merak etmek, merak etmek, means to be curious or to wonder something. Sorun etmek, sorun etmek means to consider something as a problem. Alay etmek, to Make fun of somebody or something. Helal etmek means to forgive. Seyretmek means to watch. Yad etmek means to remember as a memorial. Memnun etmek means to satisfy. Tarif etmek means to describe. Benzetmek. Benzetmek means uh, to consider something similar to something else. Like for example, you may feel that someone looks like his father. Then we will say that you are... Um, doing this things that make verb to uh, that person's father. Okay, yemin etmek means to swear. For example, you swear to God or Bible, that kind of swear. Okay, now let's go through the verb. How to conjugate this verb? Okay, we have the root of the verb or the imperative form. And we add the suffix of the considered tense. And how do we make the imperative? We just omit the make or mock part of the um, infinitive. So here we had the verb yapmak in previous video. And here we have et make. When we omit uh, make, we have et. Um, there is something I have to tell before going to conjugating. Um, because this t um, might change in some tenses to d uh, because of some uh, soft vowels coming beside it. Um, you you may see this it used as ed, okay? So you will see in the examples how it changes. So it is not always it. Okay, <clears throat> the verb conjugation in our present continues, like I'm doing, you're doing. Here we have the verb ban ediyorum. Sen ediyorsun. O bu ediyor. Biz ediyoruz. Siz ediyorsunuz. Onlar ediyorlar. Okay, you see here we have the sound of e here. And beside t, it has changed the t verb to d. 
So let's say ban teşekkür ediyorum. It may mean I'm, I'm saying thank you. Okay. I will just uh, read the verbs once again. I am doing. Okay. Uh, I will not read the English ones. It, it will just appear. Ben ediyorum. Sen ediyorsun. O bu şu ediyor. Biz ediyoruz. Siz ediyorsunuz. Onlar ediyorlar. So, um, I have written the verb do here, but um, this is, you know, as you saw, it may mean different things as it um, um, just is put beside another verb. Okay, so you may have your own uh, meaning according to the examples that I went according to its meaning. So the um, meaning will change like here. You can practice it uh, on a paper and also you can uh, leave any questions at the comments below. I will check them and I'll answer you. Okay, the negative form of present continuous. Let's have the positive form. The negative form will go like this. So, you see here we have the sound of m for a negative sign or a ne negative suffix of the verb. And we have t here as it uh, was supposed to be. So, we have ediyorum, etmiyorum. Ediyorsun, etmiyorsun. Ediyor, etmiyor. Ediyoruz, etmiyoruz. Ediyorsunuz, etmiyorsunuz. Ediyorlar, etmiyorlar. So this is all in negative form. Okay, here we have the verb conjugation in present simple. They call it geniş zaman. Okay, ben ederim, sen edersin, o bu şu eder, biz ederiz, siz edersiniz, onlar ederler. Okay, so let's say we say thank you. Ben teşekkür ederim, sen teşekkür edersin, o teşekkür eder. Biz teşekkür ederiz. Siz teşekkür edersiniz. Onlar teşekkür ederler. Okay? This is about I thanked, you thanked, we thanked. Okay. So here we have any sim uh, simple present tense. Okay. Yeah, I say thank you, you say thank you. Uh, didn't I just say so? Yeah. Okay. Okay, verb conjugation in past tense. Um, we have it as geçmiş zaman. Ben ettim, sen ettin, o etti, biz ettik, siz ettiniz, onlar ettiler. So let's go to the negative form. Okay, the negative form of past simple. We have geçmiş zaman, olumsuz. Olumsuz means negative. Ben etmedim, sen etmedin, o etmedi, biz etmedik, siz etmediniz, onlar etmediler. Okay, they didn't do. Now here we have past continuous. Ben ediyordum. Sen ediyordun. O bu şu ediyordu. Biz ediyorduk. Siz ediyordunuz. Onlar ediyorlardı. I read it once again. Ben ediyordum, sen ediyordun, o ediyordu, biz ediyorduk, siz ediyordunuz, onlar ediyorlardı. Let's go to the negative form. Uh, 
a past continuous tense. This is the positive and this is the negative form. Okay. You see here, we have the E sound here and we have the me sound beside it. We have it here, but we have ed here. Okay. Ediyordum, etmiyordum. Ediyordun, etmiyordun. Ediyordu, etmiyordu. Ediyorduk, etmiyorduk. Ediyordunuz, etmiyordunuz. Ediyorlardı, etmiyorlardı. Okay. Here we have the future tense. Gelecek zaman, they call it. Gelecek means future. Edeceğim. Now you see here we have the e sound beside, and the t has again changed to d. Edeceğim. Edeceksin. Edecek. Edeceğiz. Edeceksiniz. Edecekler. Okay. In the uh, verb of yapmak, we had acağım, acaksın, acak, like other things. And that is because of the harmony of vowels. Okay, that's why here we have ecejim, ecekstin, ecek, and so on. Yeah, let's go to the negative form. The negative form of future. Etmeyeceğim. Etmeyeceksin, etmeyecek, etmeyeceğiz, etmeyeceksiniz, etmeyecekler. I read it once again. Etmeyeceğim, etmeyeceksin, etmeyecek, etmeyeceğiz, etmeyeceksiniz, etmeyecekler. Okay. You can divide them by, um, I mean... For every syllable, like for every yeah syllable that you do see, and um, read it part by part, then try to read it fast. Like it, me, ye, jek, sin, niz. Then read it faster. It, me, ye, jek, sin, niz. Then go faster. It, me, ye, jek, sin, niz. Okay, it will take time. I know it's not easy to um, go like uttering the verbs fluently. You need to work hard, guys. You need to work hard. It's Turkish. Okay, here's a tense. Um, they call it gelecek zamanın hikayesi. It's a kind of um, like something that was supposed to happen but hasn't. Okay. So, it's a mixture of the suffix of future and we have the suffix of um, simple past here. So, it makes it like it would, was going to, was supposed to happen kind of meaning. Okay. Um, so, edecektim means I was supposed to do or I was going to do. Edecektin, you were supposed to do. Edecekti, edecektik, edecektiniz, edeceklerdi. I read it once more. Edecektim, edecektin, edecekti, edecektik, edecektiniz, edeceklerdi. Yeah, they were supposed to do. So, the negative form of it, here we have the suffix of may. Etmeyecektim, etmeyecektin, etmeyecekti, etmeyecektik, etmeyecektiniz, etmeyeceklerdi. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, here we have a tense uh, that I uh, I have experienced it like it is like present perfect, but they say that it is not present perfect. Um, with a slice of change, uh, they consider it as um, it has kind of meaning that you haven't seen that the verb has been performed. You have heard that something has been performed, has been done. Okay, it's kind of weird, but I if if it is so, I I um, prefer to call it a gossip tense. My students always um, laugh at this point. I call it gossip tense. And here uh, we have the mish suffix. This mish suffix shows that it's a gossip. It, it may not be true because it is heard. That's why they call it do you learn. It means something that is heard or Öğrenilen, or something that is learned from somewhere. You haven't witnessed that. Here is this um, weird word. <laughs> so we have etmişim, means that it is said that I have done. Okay. Etmişsin, it is said that you have done. Etmiş means it is said that she has done or he has done anyway. It misses. It is said that we have done. It missin is. It is said that you have done. It misler. Is it is said that they have done. It is said. We have learned it from somewhere. We haven't seen it. Let's go to the negative form of it. Okay. Here, it's me, uh, Yeah, it is said that I haven't done. It doesn't mean that it is not said that I have done. It says that it is said that I haven't done. Okay. It's me, Mishin. It's me, Mish. It's me, Mishis. It's me, Mishin is. Etmemişler. I read it once more. Etmemişim, etmemişsin, etmemiş, etmemişiz, etmemişsiniz, etmemişler. Okay. We have the similar thing with future tense. Here it is. So we have the suffix of ecek. With this mish 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 story, uh, yeah, edecek mishim means it is said that I will do, or they are expecting me to do. They say that I will do. Edecek mishsin, it is said that you will do. Edecek mish, edecek mishes, edecek mishsiniz. Edecekmiş, edeceklermiş, or edecekmişler. This ler and mish can replace, can be replaced, but um, I mean it's the same. Yeah. Now we'll have the negative form of that. It may edecekmişim. It may edecekmişsin. Et me a jack mish. Et me a jack mish. Et me a jack Et me a jack mish sinis. Okay, again. Et me a jack mishim. Et me a jack mish sin. Et me a jack mish. Et me a jack mishes. Et me a jack mish sinis. Et me a jack mish lar. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we have past perfect here. 
and forget about the Turkish name here. I mean, you will not need it anyway. So we have the mesh and the past suffixes. Here we are. Etmiştim. Etmiştin. Etmişti. Etmiştik. Etmiştiniz. Etmişlerdi. Okay. Let's go for the negative form. Etmemiştim. Etmemiştin. Etmemişti. Etmemiştik. Etmemiştiniz. Etmemişlerdi. Now that we had the past form of this, we did it. Okay. Guys, I hope you take your notes here um, for participating in my live session sometimes. Um, you, sh you must be notified. So after subscribing, please um, click on the bell icon so you will be notified. And also, I do not uh, make videos regularly. I don't. I just can't. And it takes time. I, 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 I'm sometimes busy with some online lessons and other stuff. So um, in order to use these videos, you must be notified. So do not forget to click on the ring icon, uh, the ring icon so you'll be notified. Thank you, guys. Um, good luck. That's all. I can say, yeah, see you on the next video.